there and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to crochet this cute pixie bonnet made in this beautiful lemon peel stitch. This project is really easy and fast to make, so let's just get started. For this project you will need only one skein of this yarn, Drops Cotton Merino in color 15. You will also need a 4mm crochet hook, a darning needle and some scissors. I will start by making a slip knot and 7 chains. And to start my first row, I will skip the first chain from the hook and into the second chain from the hook, I will make a single crochet. And I will make a single crochet in the last 5 chains. To start the next row, I will make a chain and turn my work. And here in row 2 I will only be working into the back loops of my stitches and I will be making a single crochet in every stitch of the row. So I will just insert my hook into the back loop and make a single crochet. And I will do that in every stitch across. And here into the last stitch of the row, I will insert my hook into both of the loops in the stitch, so I will just make a normal single crochet. And I will chain one and turn my work. And from here I can just repeat row two till I have a total of 56 rows. When I am done with all of my 56 rows, I will just make a chain and I will now be working into the edge of the rows in my ribbing. So here into the first row of the ribbing, I am going to make a single crochet. And here into the edge of the next row of the ribbing that you can see right here, I am going to make a double crochet. So I will yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And into the edge of the next row I am going to make a single crochet. And I will just repeat that all the way across, alternating between a double crochet and a single crochet. And I'm going to have 56 stitches at the end of the row. And here at the end of the row, I'm going to make a single crochet into the last stitch. And I will chain one and turn my work. And every time I start a new row, I will start by making a single crochet into the first stitch. And here in row 2, I'm going to do exactly as I did in row 1, only I'm going to make my double crochet over my single crochet from the previous row and my single crochet over double crochet from the previous row. This applies except for the beginning and the end of each row, which always starts and ends with a single crochet. So here I have a single crochet in the previous row, so I'm going to make a double crochet in the next stitch. And in the next one a single crochet. And in the next one a double crochet. 
and I will repeat all the way across, alternating between a double crochet and a single crochet. And here at the end of the row, I'm going to make a single crochet in the very last stitch. And I will chain one and turn my work. And from row three to row 16, I'm just going to repeat the two previous rows. So I'm going to start with making a single crochet, then a double crochet, a single crochet and a double crochet. In row 17, I'm going to make a slip stitch into the first six stitches. So I will insert my hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull through the two loops on the hook. And I will do that six times. Then I will continue the pattern from before, making a double crochet over my single crochet from the previous row and a double crochet over single crochet. And I will repeat that till I have six stitches left of the row. And here at the end of the row, I will make a slip stitch into the last six stitches. And I will chain one and turn my work. And here at row 18, I will repeat the previous row, so I will start by making a slip stitch into the first six stitches. And again, I will make a single crochet over my double crochet from the previous row and a double crochet over my single crochet from the previous row. And again, I will repeat that till I have six stitches left of the row. And here at the end, I will make a slip stitch into the last six stitches. And I will chain one and turn my work. I am now going to assemble my bonnet by folding it in half like this. And I can now choose to crochet the edges together with the slip stitch or I can sew the edges together with the mattress stitch. In this case, I am going to sew the edges together. So I'm going to pull my loop and cut a long tail for sewing. And I'm going to tie a knot. And I will insert the needle into the stitch on the opposite side and insert the needle again on the other side. And I will fasten off and sew in my ends thoroughly. And I can now turn my bonnet with the right side out. 
Now the only thing left to do is to make the straps and make a nice edge here on the bonnet. So I'm just going to put the bonnet aside and I'm going to make a slip knot and 43 chains. I will skip the first chain from the hook and into the next stitch I'm going to make a slip stitch. And I will make a slip stitch in every stitch across. I am now going to attach the strap to the bonnet by making a slip stitch here into the first stitch of the edge of the bonnet. And I'm now going to make a row of slip stitches all the way around here in the edge of the bonnet. Here at the end of the row, I will again make 43 chains. I will skip the first chain from the hook and into the next I will make a slip stitch. And I will make a slip stitch into every chain of the row. And here at the end I will make a slip stitch into the edge of the bonnet. And I will cut and fasten off my yarn. And the only thing left to do now is to sew in all of my ends and I will of course do that on the wrong side. And that is how you make this very soft and cute baby bonnet. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you would like to see a lot more of these kinds of videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. If you have any questions or anything nice to say, you can write me in the comment section and I will reply as soon as possible. I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.